It is the beginning of a new week. It's Saturday. It's beautiful outside. The sun is shining. It is, I think, like 56 or 57 degrees. Uh, Today Saturday, I think I said that. We, um, we've we done some reviews. Ander came over this morning, and when we can get Ander to come over, we do a bunch of reviews at one time. So we did a bunch of reviews at one time. You, Some of them you might not see come out for a month from now because I have to prioritize which ones are the most important to the least important. Um, but uh, so he came over we received Mona's bumpy cake the Sanders bumpy cake it's the caramel one we received that package I didn't show me opening it because I showed um, me opening the bumpy cakes last week but you oh, yeah you can put it in the back this we're at the post office right now and is that Sarah's Nancy. Yep, that's, <laughs> yeah, Nancy. Sarah in California told me that she had sent us a box and she thought it would be here on Thursday. So I would have done the box opening last week, but it just arrived today. Um, she said she checked it and it was held up in the cells for a night for some reason, so who knows. Um, so, uh, so Andrew came over, we did that, we got the bumpy cake. We've come down to the post office, and now we're going to Kroger and Walmart. To be a madhouse. It will probably be very, very busy. But Kevin had mentioned yesterday that he wanted to stay home, and um, and I'm glad it worked out because it was very cold yesterday and it was rainy. Today it's warmer and it is sunny. So if you have to carry groceries out to the car and into the house and all that, wouldn't you rather carry them into the house when it's nice and sunny and um, nice out? Wonder why they have the street blocked off. They must be when having some kind of celebration. Uh, so. Easter. Oh, clock. Easter egg hunt. And they got a slide out there. And there are a lot of Easter egg hunts going on around town today. A lot of uh, people uh, doing that today, which is actually really, really smart because my sister said there was a chance of snow tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Snow! I can't believe it's supposed to snow. So, I mean, I mean, I'm just wondering how much longer are we going to go back and forth where it's nice and then it snows and it's nice and then it snows because last week at the beginning, the first thing you saw in last week's video was snow in the same day in the, within the few hours, it was clear, but it had still snowed. So this week we're starting off with nice weather. So if it snows tomorrow, I will have to show it to you. Um, but um, I'm just glad for the nice weather today because uh, I don't know if Gavin and Amelia are going to any Easter egg hunts or not, but uh, this will be a good time for them to go because we, if we had eggs, we would do it inside the house because we do have Easter eggs uh, because our backyard, there are landmines everywhere, everywhere. Wait a minute. Guido, yes, Guido landmines. Uh, you cannot, right now, you cannot walk in the backyard. Uh, now, it will get better because we'll uh, clean up some, but right now, it's gone all winter long, so it's really, really bad. So, you can't walk in the backyard at all. And then the front yard, it wouldn't be safe to have our our street is extremely busy as you all know so it wouldn't be safe for us to have an easter egg hunt in the front yard so i'm thinking when mom was alive did we go up to the school one year at easter mm -hmm. to the, to uh one of the elementary schools and we i think we hid eggs around there and then let the kids go and look in the elementary school playground which was fun for them but with it going to be as cold as it's supposed to be, it won't be any fun to do that tomorrow anyway. So, I'm seeing people, some people are wearing shorts and t-shirts, and I'm wearing my coat. Right now, I think it's warm in the car. However, when we go in Kroger, I'll probably be cold, and when we go in Walmart, I'll probably be cold. So, I will be glad to have this coat on, I'm sure. So, uh, anyway, I told someone um, last week that I would try to film uh, an area of the store where the refrigerated cookies are because she did not know. We were talking about, we Kevin and I did the review of the cookie dough and she, she was confused. She lives in another country and she was confused as to, to, 
she said those cookie doughs are refrigerated wouldn't it make sense that they were in the refrigerated section even if they were near the yogurts well i said the reason it didn't make sense is because they make refrigerated cookie dough we would have thought that edible cookie dough would be with the other cookie dough and she said oh i'm learning something from you every day because i didn't even know they made refrigerated cookie dough and so <clears throat> I said I'll try to show it to you I don't know if today's gonna be a good day because it might be really really busy in Kroger and Walmart if it's not if I get the opportunity I will try to show you and I mean people in the United States are gonna be like yeah we've seen this before but if you live in another country this might be new to you um, and we never unfortunately there have been so many cool Nestle Toll House cookies that came out and we hardly ever get the new ones so you will see we get the plain old sugar cookies and chocolate chip, chocolate chip and peanut butter and that's about sometimes, some, we'll have sometimes but usually we just get the regular ones we did not get the ones that came out in the fall unfortunately because I, I really wanted those so yeah, there's somebody mowing their yard. But it is a beautiful day. I told Kevin, I bet the cemetery is gorgeous today. I bet the tulips are out. Because it's been a couple weeks since we were there. But um, anyway, I will see you all in just a few minutes at the grocery store. So this is the re refrigerated section at Walmart. Uh, we didn't need to go in that section at Kroger, so I didn't. Um, we've tried those a long time ago, Kevin. And they I'm thinking they were not that good at all. Yeah, hot cocoa. There's a new one, a strawberry. It's the same, it looks like the same base cinnamon roll, Pillsbury, but the only difference is it has like a strawberry icing, but I have not seen it in our area. But I said that I would show the refrigerated cookies. So this is what they have at Walmart, and these are over near the eggs. And so this is where I would have thought they would have put that edi edible cookie dough. But now, this is not where they keep them. I don't even know if they sell that edible cookie dough here. So, but this is this is what they have. They don't have very many, and you can see this is why we don't get very many different kinds because they don't have much room for them. So we're looking for block cheese, and I want to just craft. They do have some mild cheddar back there. They only have the craft in these little bitty blocks. Everything else is the great value. They do have a huge block of extra sharp if you want an extra sharp, which I don't. And they do have Tillamook, which I've never tried. But, I mean, these are huge blocks. I wanted just a block of this size, like a pound block. All they have is the great value. Kevin said before too long, it's going to be to where you can only buy the great value and you're not even able to get the uh, craft. And I believe that. So, yeah, we'll take two of those mild cheddars sure. instead of one big one. Well, here is the box from Sarah, and I, I'm just shocked that Sarah has sent me another box this quickly because it doesn't seem like that long ago at all, does it? That she sent us a box of, of goodies from California, and now here she's spent more money <laughs> to spend us, send us another box of just... Right. Oh, wow. What is this? Chewies? Chewies assorted... Rugalish, gourmet rugalish, rugalish, refrigerate after opening. This is made in San Diego, California, uh, and it looks like it's a kind of roll. You see that? Mm, some kind of filled. It looks like pastry or flaky pastry. I've never had anything like this. I will have. Looks to, good. Yes, it looks very good. The taste of opulence, chewy since 1987. Yeah, I have no idea what that even is. Okay, this is Grazio Matre Truffaut Dark Chocolate Bars with Amaretto. Mm. Ooh, yum. This looks like something that she probably bought at World Market. Uh, it says Austria. No wonder I can't pronounce the words correctly. <laughs> Austria. Something must be crumbling Crumbles, in there. Yeah, I see the, some crumbs. Uh, it's this. Oh, wow. look. Because literally... Uh, it popped loose. It popped loose. It's in the fridge. Yeah, we'll have to immediately... So, but that's where all the crumbs came from. I mean, truth be told, if you look at it, it's, there's, uh, it's not that sealed anyway. <laughs> no, no. But that's, we'll just have to put it in the fridge. Okay. Yeah. This is the Nature's Path uh, Organic Love Crunch Granola Bar. 
dark chocolate and red berries. <laughs> and we tried that many nature's have on them. This is a sweet and salty peanut bar. Uh, this pack looks, uh, looks very, very familiar. What brand? It wouldn't be that uh, uh, H-E-B or... Publix. Publix or the one of The Publix uh, looks... It's the same about. It no, doesn't. No, it's, because it's not it, packaged for resale. <laughs> right, so it came in a package. It looks just like the Publix. Uh, sweet and salty granola bar. Maybe she has a note in here somewhere. Oh, oh, honey, you're gonna, you'll over. probably keep wiping. Okay. These are organic Ocho caramel egg, milk chocolate eggs filled with caramel. These look like fun. During springtime, we offer our organic caramel egg to sp celebrate the season. So they don't want to say Easter. They just want to say <laughs> springtime. Okay. Um, we just tried these. Oh my gosh. She she sent these just this much too late. Literally, I had well, I just bought these and we tried them. So that's okay because we like them. That's the good thing about it. We enjoyed them, so we will get to enjoy them again. We were actually when we were at Walmart, Kevin was like, there's those s'mores. So okay, this is the Nature's Path Organic Love Crunch dark chocolate and peanut butter <coughs> this is a chewy cookies and cream have we had the cookies and cream uh, i don't know i know i love the peanut butter i know i love the marshmallow we've had some of the small ones i just don't remember this is 25 percent less sugar huh oh, that's it sounds good ghirardelli milk chocolate caramelized hazelnut that does not sound familiar at all. I'm surprised we haven't seen that anywhere. That looks really good. I love hazelnut. Butterscotch toffee crunch cookies. Too good gourmet. Okay, Sarah has sent us stuff from Too Good Gourmet before. Uh, so I cannot wait. This is a fancy, some pa mm -hmm. fancy packaging. Because you you can feel it. It's uh, the package of cookies is right underneath of this. That that's cool. Oh, Okay, this is Toffee Boutique Milk Chocolate. It's handmade uh, milk chocolate. Both of these are the same thing. Non-GMO, preservative-free, gluten-free. I'm trying to see where they're made. Like, normally it tells you what state they're made in. This doesn't even... Nutrition facts. I swear it doesn't tell what state it's made in. That's weird. I'll have to look their website up on the internet. She told me she got these for us. These are the new cookies from 7-Eleven. <coughs> we have lemon cream, strawberry, chocolate covered strawberry, and orange <coughs> cream. Those are out for the summer. See, if you live near 7-Eleven, you all probably take it for granted. We do not have 7-Eleven around here, and they have some awesome food. They used to have 7-Eleven, but they don't even want Seattle Chocolates, and I think she has sent us some things from Seattle Chocolate, but it's been a while. Uh, San Juan Sea Salt Milk Chocolate Truffle Bar with sea salt and toffee. That sounds awesome. You know I love toffee. Uh, Chakar. That's okay. Chakar Cherries. Chakar Cherries Milk Chocolate Honey Pecans. So even though the name of it is Chakara Cherries, it's actually milk chocolate honey pecans. Mm -hmm. So I guess there's no cherries in here. <laughs> yeah, Chakara.com. That's very, no, milk chocolate. I'm trying to see if there's cherry. No, there's not cherries in here. So that could be confusing, but. Just come here. Okay, 7-Eleven birthday cake bites. They, I've never even seen these. I mean, like pictures or anything. Uh, birthday cake bites. Yeah, I wonder how long those have been out. That'll be so awesome. What is that? Hostess iced lemon cake. It says it's new. Now we have tried some slices, but I don't remember what brand it was. I don't remember if it was Hostess. I remember buying it at that shelf station. Like, yeah, but this actually says new on it, so I'm gonna assume we've never had. Yeah, we'll look it up cake. for sure. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, this is 7-Eleven, 7 Select Go Smart. Mind and Body, this one is. Mind and Body says raisins, peanuts, banana chips, walnuts, yogurt flavored covered raisins, and dried blueberries. And then this one is Rise and Shine, yogurt flavored covered raisins, dried cranberries, honey, roasted peanuts, granola, and honey glazed walnuts. And this is 7 uh, 11, 7 Select Cocoa and Banana Fruit and Nut Mix. And I'm sure these were not uh, cheap either because these mixes like that, anything that has nuts like that and dried fruit is very expensive. That's for you. Oh my. Bean Boozled Jelly Beans. No, this looks like fun. It says the new, it's some of a new despicable, despicable flavor or something like that. Includes despicable new flavors. Okay, which one of these have? A, oh, I see. You get either pencil shavings or <laughs> banana, pencil shavings. or minion fart or <laughs> minion fart or sour apple. So the other ones are ones that we've had in the regular bean basil. That sounds like a fun uh, a fun mix. I don't know that I want to taste a, min a minion, minion fart. fart. <laughs> Okay, this is Cliff Family Kitchen in Napa Valley, milk chocolate cherries. Awesome. Alyssa's Healthy Oatmeal Bites, gourmet oatmeal bites with dried fruits. It looks like cookies. I know they say bites, but they look like cookies. My goodness, how much did she put Plastic. in there? Plastic. Is that is this did she get get the, get some of the candy the jelly there. bellies from yeah. the minion jelly bellies? So there must be a jelly belly store. I love that bag. That is so colorful. Uh, the kids will like that bag. Two more bags. 365 PB and J bites. Strawberry filled peanut butter snacks. You know what I can do tomorrow? They're gonna have their um, Easter baskets but I got them too much to fit in their Easter baskets, like some clothes and stuff. I can put that in that bag and they'll like that because that's colorful. Uh, PB and J Bites from 365. Isn't this a Whole Foods brand, 365? Mm -hmm. I think that's I think Whole, Whole Foods brand. It probably says it on there. Yeah, Whole Foods Market. What in the world? These look like deviled eggs. Sweet Creations Easter Confectionery Hand Molded Deviled Eggs. It has a white confectionery coating. That and Rice Krispies. They added uh, the stuff in the egg is actually Rice Krispies. And just yellow with yellow with sugar, uh, chocolate or something. That sounds so cool. Village Candy Kitchen in Oak Glen, California. She didn't put a note in here. At least I don't see. She didn't put a note. Okay. Well, the only it seems like the the only thing that I was wondering what it was is the sweet and salty peanut bar bars. It and does I, look like a Publix. And I will be able to tell you if it's Publix because we have a box. Why don't you go get them and open them? The Publix? Yeah, the, because I've opened the oat and honey, but I haven't opened the peanut ones yet. There's some... Oh, there's a peanut box. Yeah, there's a peanut up there. But see, I'm working on the oats and honey right now. Yeah, so I have some uh, Publix peanut bars, and so we'll be able to tell you if that's what it is. Um, there is so much here yeah. to try. Yeah, that's what it Sweet is. Sweet and salty. Yeah. So that's Publix. So she sent me these so I can just enjoy these because we've had these before and we can just enjoy these. And the only other thing that I really don't know if we've had is the Hostess cake, but I will look this up and make sure. It says new, so it probably is new. Thank you so much, Sarah. I'm very excited about all the stuff. I hope everyone else is excited to see these videos especially this one. This is the evil one because we have played Bean Boozled before. It's awful. But we haven't played Bean Boozled with Minion Fart. So now we're just going to have to play it again. And uh, Andrew, we'll have to try to get Andrew over here for that one because we all know Andrew likes the... <laughs> Andrew likes the Bean Boozled. I love so the dog food and the vomit. I think, listen, that dog food... Oh, awful. Awful. Is it on the... You no, want me to I can't see small Okay, food. I'll tell you real quick. 
Just yeah. read the bad ones. You okay? The bad ones: spoiled milk, rotten yeah. egg. Rotten egg was pretty bad. Barf. Yeah, that was bad too. Booger. Stinky socks. Dead fish. No. Dead toothpaste, fish. which I don't think toothpaste, toothpaste is actually was bad. good. It was minty. Um, canned dog food. Yeah, that was like the worst. Uh, and pencil shavings and menu part. You know which one they didn't put in here was skunk. I would rather eat skunk than eat that dog food. Dog food and the fish. Did you watch? We will get stuck with that dog food because we said that. One person will. I hope it's Andrew. <laughs> Maybe there's none of those in there. I, I hope not. I really hope not. There's probably not enough in there for everybody to have their own color. We'll see. Kevin and I are on a walk, and we normally do not walk this way, except for once a year. <laughs> this tree comes out, and I can see this tree from my kitchen window and it just looks beautiful and it will bloom more but this is the beginning of it and, and since it's supposed to there's a chance of snow tomorrow i wanted to show it to you while it's still vivid um, but i think it, this is a beautiful tree hopefully the snow tomorrow doesn't um uh what do you call it kevin cool. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it doesn't kill it, but hopefully it doesn't reduce the color, you know? Uh, mute the colors. So, and I also have my little muff on my camera, but it doesn't make any difference because... Um, really windy right now. Right now we're in between some buildings, so it, yeah, it's not really windy here yeah, anyway. Oh, I don't think you could see. But, yeah, I should have tried my little muff out. Um, it's a little muff on the camera. I talked about it in last week's vlog. It's a, furry thing. it's a furry thing on the top of the camera, but it's supposed to help reduce the amount of wind. And we have been in a lot of wind, but right now we're not because we're in the alley behind the house. So, um, anyway, I wanted to show you that tree just because I think it's so pretty and I like to see it outside the kitchen window because of the, uh, the color of that against the blue sky. I just think it's really pretty. This is the view from the kitchen window, and I was just showing you this tree over here. And so this is how it looks from my window. And it looks much, much pinker, I think, from my window than it did up close. But it was kind of hard to see. And then when the sky is blue, um, it makes it look even pinker than, than it looks now when the sky is actually behind it and it's really blue. But I look forward to seeing this tree every single year at this time. So I have set the table for Easter. It is basically the same thing I do every time, but I've already had people that ask me what our table look like so i'm going to show it i did have cloth napkins laid out however i thought wait a minute i have enough paper napkins and i actually even though these are paper i actually really like these on the table because they look very cheerful and colorful and i like that especially at easter time i like the uh, the the pastel colors and i already had some color from the um the tablecloth and the eggs and the table runner and so these just add more color and then we made our own cards name cards that we've had for a while and so i just set those out and so this is how the table looks and the kids are little right now so i do put towels in the uh chairs the cushion um, on the cushion because our uh chairs are a cream color so if you're ever looking for dining room chairs just know that i mean and i know we can switch these out at some point but we just haven't yet so because we haven't had the table that long honestly it's been i think it's been like six and a half years that we've had this and i love it i just i wish they had had it in a different color i didn't even think to ask them if if we could have gotten different cushions i don't even think i don't know that that was an option it probably would have cost more though but uh, so anyway this is our the table and i showed all this in a haul uh this the eggs came from hobby lobby the rabbits came from hobby lobby the baskets came for um uh, yeah the baskets came from home goods the table runner came from home goods um the tablecloth actually 
came from Bed Bath & Beyond. However, I got it deeply discounted. I got it at least half off at um, Bed Bath & Beyond and because it, they consider this an autumn color. Uh, and I had planned on using a green one. I have a very, very dark green one. It's like it's like darker than this. It's more of like a Christmas green because it was a Christmas tablecloth. I got it Kohl's years ago and it was discounted. And I looked where I keep my tablecloths. I had forgotten that I bought this. Um, so even though it says autumn, if you see these tablecloths discounted, I would always get them because you're going to be able to use them at different times during the year because you can use green at, you know, other than Christmas. And for me, green symbolizes summer and or spring and, and regrowth and all that. So I could think you can use them at any time. But this went ended up going perfectly with this table runner because it has these colors in it. So I just love it. So it all came together perfectly. And uh, so there's the table and I'll show you what Kevin's doing. Kevin is in the kitchen. We put the ham, he's put, putting the garbage up. Oh, cause he's peeling potatoes. We've got the macaroni here. We've got, uh, we're peeling potatoes. I'm not having the traditional, um, normally like, my hair's up right now. Traditionally on Easter, we would have like potato salad and macaroni salad and deviled eggs and things like that. I decided to just go simple and go with things that I know that people like. Uh, so I will show you, um, uh, when we get everything together, I'll show it to you. And we have a ton of desserts, thanks to Mona. <laughs> we have a ton of desserts to share with the family. And uh, we have bought a lot of ice creams to review. So there are some, there's probably one, two, three, there's like seven different kinds of ice creams in the freezer for everybody to try. And if they like them, uh, then they can just take them home if they have room in their freezer. We've already given them so many ice creams that uh, their freezer is full too. So a lot of you ask, what do you do? You know, surely you can't eat all that. No, we can't eat all that. So we keep what we like, but then we give to Anna and Christina as well. So that's what's going on now. Ashley hasn't even gotten up out of the bed. I think she's going to wait till the last minute to get up. Usually. That's, yeah, usually, <laughs> Kevin said. I am um, going to get the kids' toys out, and I'm going to choose a room to lay those in. I don't know which room I'm going to put them in yet. Did I show you all my banner? I don't know if I showed you my banner or not. I bought a banner from Home Goods, and it says Easter on it, but I put it in the den. And the den, it, it's so... The bookshelves are so busy in here that honestly, I think it kind of gets lost, <laughs> but it's huge. It's right here and it just says Easter. And I would have put it in the dining room. However, we already have a pennant hanging in the dining room. And I do think it looks really pretty up here. You see the little, one end has the little rabbit, the Peter rabbit, that's what it is. It's Peter rabbit themed. And then you have the goose. Um, but I would have put it in, the dining room, but see, we already have this pendant up here and I didn't want to take it down because I really like this. Um, you see my little, the professor up here. That's, that's Kevin Jr., the professor. But I'm gonna have Ashley pick up her stuff uh, when she gets up, just scoot it down there. And I, I had these eggs and I just took them out and I put them in this basket and I thought that, uh, not this basket, put them in this bowl because I just thought they looked pretty. I'm sure the kids are going to grab them as soon as they walk in, which is fine. I also have this basket of, we bought all of these eggs last year, uh, clearance. They were deeply, deeply reduced. I mean, some of those packages I think were like 10 cents, but there are all kinds of eggs in there and I figured they could play with them. It will give them something, something to play with when they come over. So that's it. That's what's going on now. We're going to um, keep cooking in here and uh, I'll show you the food when it is finished. So we've done something that we haven't done before. Um, Gavin and Amelia like to play with their the Harry Potter set in here. They like to stand up in the chair and I actually Amelia has been the one that has started playing with this and Gavin will go um, Gavin will come in here in the den and he'll watch TV and so we we found Andrews we found some of Andrews men up in the attic a while back 
and we're gonna uh, a couple weeks ago so we're gonna leave these in here for Gavin to play with with those eggs and uh, then we we've set it up in here with their toys so Amelia will probably be the one in here but we took the cushions out of the chair and just scooted over here so she can play with this and then we've kind of just put the toys um, around in this room and I set the Peppa Pig house up here and then I forget what this one's called. Uh, I literally don't remember what the name of this. Tickety Talk? Maybe Tickety Talk is the name of it. I've never watched the show. So that's the front of the house, but usually they like to play with the back of the house. So I've set stuff up in here and of course <laughs> the cats are um, investigating everything. Uh, but that way they can be in here. Gavin can watch TV. And if we want to come in here, there's plenty of room to sit down as well. Kevin bought one of these Sam's Choice, you can go ahead, one of these Sam's Choice hams. And so, so far, we just, you open it up and you put it in the oven for like how long? An hour and 10 minutes. Okay. It's so much per pound. So then, what is this that you're doing? This Just came a, with it, a right? Glaze. This is the glaze. Okay. So normally, uh, we've done a video before. Kevin's made his own glaze out of what mustard and, and brown, brown sugar. sugar and mustard and uh, vinegar. A little mm, bit. That smells good. That smells good. Does that have sage in it? Um, I don't know. Not sage. Not sage. It's brown sugar Cloves. and cloves. It's brown sugar and honey, is what it says, but. It smells really, really good. So now you're going to put this back in the oven, and what happens then? For how long? Just, um, just a little while until it kind of, I'm sorry, um, until it kind of uh, bubbles and browns. You have to rub it in. Rub it in, rub it in. This gives you that good crust. Ah, and they give you plenty too, don't they? You use the whole thing, don't you? Oh yeah. It'll some of it will melt too. You can... Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to make sure I get it down in the wool. Oh yeah, I don't blame you. Down thin. between each slice. As much as I can. Yeah. Least. But it pulls apart pretty easy. And it's boneless too. Yeah, we made sure we bought a boneless. That way we don't have to fool with any bone. And we can use it for lunch meat. Kevin's already mentioned having some scrambled eggs, which sounds wonderful. Which we should have gotten a, um, a green pepper, Kevin. For what? Oh, to mix them up. Yeah. You know what though? We have cheese. We have... Well, we have mozzarella cheese. That's sliced cheese. That's sliced cheese. But just the egg, egg and onion and ham will be really good. Yeah. But so gonna, green pepper would have been really good. I'm gonna have to sit here and talk and put that on boil for ten minutes or so. So we're having baked macaroni and cheese. This is the ham. We're having baked beans, peas mashed potatoes and rolls very very simple easter dinner um but we're having stuff everybody will like upstairs right now in what we refer to as the dressing room, Ashley's dressing room, because uh, this is 
there are no actual closets because this is a victorian home this house does not have any closets upstairs at all there's actually two closets in the entire house there's one closet in mine and kevin's bedroom and there's another closet under the stairs the one under the stairs we put our cleaning stuff in and the one in our room i think was built on years and years ago i don't even think it was original to the house but it's been here since the 1980s so anyway there's no closets up here so we are in ashley's changing room um and we have three armoires in here two of them were here these two were here the the two light brown ones on the sides were here when we moved in the dark brown one we brought uh from our other home this was ashley's in our other home but I want to show you Ashley's dirty little secret. She doesn't have very many, but this is a dirty little secret of Ashley's. This pile of clothes. So, Ashley will tell you she would rather clean the bathrooms, she would rather clean toilets than to put clothes up. So, uh, she, uh, yeah, she just hates it and she works two jobs she goes to school so when she gets home she doesn't feel like doing it she has homework to do and on her day off she just really she doesn't get a day off because she has homework and if she does have time to relax it's just few and far between the time she has to relax so she is leaving for oklahoma for a few days she has a school it's for school she has to give a presentation in oklahoma and uh she i don't know i don't know what it's called but she's going to go there and um it's a conference that, that's what it's called it's a, some kind of a conference for school so in order to be nice to her she's gone today to school i'm going to hang these clothes up for her now i have no idea how long it will take i'm going to look at the time before i start and look at the time when i end and see how long it takes this has been this has been going on for a long time so i'm gonna set you all down here and try to get a good angle and record this finished that only took 20 minutes that was it 20 minutes and she could have easily done that herself but I know that she would never do it and she's gonna want to come up here and pack for her trip and she's gonna want to look at these clothes and see what she has so I'm glad that I did it for her. she's gonna be very very surprised when she gets home so there are her closets so uh, we received a um, a Easter card from Tree in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I just have to show you. It's hilarious. Is that not funny? That is. <laughs> so she was just wishing us a happy Easter. Thank you very, very much for that. And then we have some packages to open from Sarah. Sarah lives in the United Kingdom, and so uh, this, you know, I. Uh, I always talk about Sarah in California. This is my other Sarah on the other side of the pond. Uh, so I'm excited to see what she has sent. Maynard's Bassett's Jelly Babies Berry Mix. I absolutely love the texture. And this is a big bag. <laughs> this is going to be so dangerous. Um, 
So we've tried the regular Jelly Babies and then the last Jelly Babies we had had three flavors in it. So this one will be interesting uh, to see uh, which flavors uh, this has. It says apple, strawberry, black currant, and raspberry. Hmm. So yeah, that'll be fun to try. Ooh, I, you know, I saw these, but I never uh, expected that I would get to try them. These are the new Lemon Drizzle Kit Kats. I'm very excited about these. Very excited. Okay, these are Terry's Chocolate Orange Minis Exploding Candy. And I love the chocolate orange. And these are dangerous little packages too because um, they, uh, they're they just so easy just to, to gnaw on, they, to pick these out in the drawer, you know? Butterfinger Cups Hazelnut. Thank you very, very much. Um, I have another friend who um, has sent me something. It's actually on its way. And she, uh, these are both, from, yeah, these are both from Sarah, I know they are. Um, she actually said, would you like to, to request anything? And I said, I would love to try the Butterfinger Cups Hazelnut because we did not get to try that one. And so I know she is sending me one of these as well, but I'm you'll, sure, you'll eat them when I'm sure we're gonna, yes. I'm always surprised when these floppy packages, these things survive. Yeah, oh. And don't bust open. They're basically chips. We love, the, well, we've had these. Bacon yeah. rushers. Yeah, we absolutely love these. They taste wonderful. Oh, this is what you smell. This bacon rashers, if we got these here, we would be buying them all the time. And they're very salty. That's what you smell. I said I could smell something. The bag had a lick of pinhole. And you said you smell mint. I said I smelled something mint. Hello. Uh, yes. Uh, and you know who else loves these is Ashley. Ashley loves the polo mint. She has opened the package that's in the drawer. Yeah, I think she's, she's probably eating more than that. Thank you. Uh, these are my favorites. Uh, these and the reindeers, these are Maltesers, but these are the Maltesters. And uh, we've tried these before, and of course Sarah just sent us these to enjoy along with the polos and the baker. I don't know if we've tried the Morrison's brand or not. Those look better. We probably have. Those might have been the ones we really, really like. Oh, Milky Bar Mini Eggs. I love these things too. These are amazing. Amazing little chocolates. Thank you right. very much. Second, second so now we have another bag. Yeah, again, I'm shocked that this stuff makes it in that. Jimmy Dodgers, did you see that? Mm -hmm. Raspberry Odie Bites. They're new Jimmy Dodgers. Made with wholesome oats, source of fiber. Oh my goodness. They're little biscuits full of good food, uh, full of good fun. I wonder if these are made to appeal to kids. I don't know, they, kind of, they got monkeys on them. I don't know. Those would be so fun to try. So they're tiny. McVitie's Hobnobs uh, oh, slices topped with milk chocolate. I love the Hobnobs, McVitie's Hobnobs. These are apple pie flapjacks. I don't think we've ever had the apple mm -hmm. pie. So the McVitie's hot dogs, these are just the, they say that these are just the regular ones that, that I love. And they are, these are easy to eat too because they're only like 100, 138 calories. And the apple pie. I don't remember those. Yeah, I don't think we've had those yet. Those are nice. McVitie's hobnobs nibbles and these have hazelnut. So, the United Kingdom is getting into the hazelnut game. Those like, are new. Five or one, 90 calorie cinnamon drizzle. Don't we have cinnamon bars? I have no I wonder, I wonder <laughs> if we still I'm sell, because I'm pretty sure we've tried cinnamon here. I wonder if they, um, these are only 87 calories. See, ours, uh, even though they say 90, uh, the United Kingdom really likes to be exact about their calories, so it's 87 calories. That's nice to know. Mr. Kipling Hot Cross Slices. I can't wait to try these. We've never had these before. Now, you notice those are a little different. They just have uh, 
a glaze drizzled over top of them right. instead of the just the flour. Um, yes, yes, these do actually have a glaze. These are a lightly spiced cake slice made with raisins topped with a drizzle of white decorations. I cannot wait to try those. This will be cool. Okay. Classic. <laughs> Can I tell you something? What? Carly sent me those two. Oh, really? <laughs> because they are so cool. These are Mr. Kipling unicorn slices. I cannot. I'm so excited. And even you have to watch the Mr. Kipling because that's this is what happens. You better be careful when you're in the store because you could, I mean, that could fall right out. It reminds me of our pudding packs, the four packs. Yeah, once you get any of it loose, they yeah, fall out. Yeah, sometimes if you slide those, they'll fall out uh, and you have to make sure that you get hung with all of it. So I wanted to read what this was. Layers of pink sponge sandwiching a vanilla flavor filling topped with decorated purple fondant icing. So it purple. might be the same as other slices that we've tried, but this is unicorn, so that makes it doubly special. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, they're um, supposed to lock in like these, they got these little bumps that are supposed to like lock in, but they don't tend to Her part it. says enjoy. Uh, to Tammy and Kevin from Sarah, uh, UK Sarah, here is my new address and I'll give it to you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, thank you for giving me your new address. Um, hello, I'm sending you goodies, so here's some new stuff and munchies you love. Thank you very, very much. And that's what the front of her envelope looks like. And thank you for sending me your new address. I love it that you send us stuff to just enjoy. And Carly... Um, I don't know when Carly sent her package, but I know we're going to be opening these two again. Those are probably going to be the only things that are the same, but that just means we can enjoy it. We don't have to, we can review one and we don't have to do the review mm -hmm. of the other one, you yep. know? So I thank you very, very much. Well, it is the day after Easter and we had a lot of ham left. So tonight, Kevin is gonna make us breakfast for dinner. We're having uh, green pepper and onion and ham, and he has the egg here, and he will mix that in together and scramble it up. And uh, then I'm gonna make me some toast with mine as well. And so I'll probably ought to get that going now, yeah. shouldn't I? Yeah, so here is my plate. I've already taken a few bites and it is absolutely delicious. Um, I have some toast with that Stonewall Kitchen peach amaretto jam that I love. Uh, so this will be a really nice dinner. And now Kevin's making his. Looks really, really good. I figured I would do another BuzzFeed quiz. This one came up in my feed. Eat your way across America and we'll tell you what city you actually belong in. And of course, I have not read these ahead of time. So, uh, first up, New York City. What's the one food you need to try? Oh, absolutely. I can tell you without even looking. But pizza, pastrami sandwich, bagel, chicken over rice, Peking duck, and babka. Um, thanks to, uh, Laurie, I've had the, um, babka. I'm going to pick the pizza, and I could have told you that, uh, before. Uh, on to New England. What are you eating? Um, in New England, I would want some fish. Um, let's see. I'll say... I think a lot of people would probably say the chowder, but I'm going to say lobster roll. I've never had lobster in my life. Wouldn't know how to open it or anything. I would have to get somebody uh, from Maine to teach me how to open it. You've reached the Mid-Atlantic. Pick a meal. Uh, tomato pie. Steamed crabs cheesecake. Scrapple. Never heard of that. Scrapple. It looks like spam. Um, it doesn't look that good. Uh, I'll take the cheesesteak. Okay. Time to explore the Midwest. What are you craving? Uh, Cincinnati chili, beef pasties, Chicago hot dog, uh, burnt in sandwich. I'm going to take the deep dish pizza. You, so I've picked pizza for two of these meals. Pit stop in New Orleans, pick a meal, uh, shrimp po' boy, gumbo, beignets, jambalaya, char-grilled oysters, muffalita, I'm picking the beignets, 
Um, if I was to pick like something like a meal, they're known for their fish. But that muffaletta, muffaletta, I think that sounds really good. But I'm going to pick the beignets because I have to have the beignets. Uh, that's that extra quiz uh, that they have. I'm not doing that. Time to head south. Which specialty must you try? Uh, hush puppy, shrimp and grits, biscuits and gravy, pimento cheese, peach color. Well, I've had all of these. However, those fried green tomatoes look like they have a um, cheese on them. Kevin makes really good hush puppies. Uh, peach cobbler. All of this looks good. I'm going to say the fried green tomatoes, though. I like fried green tomatoes. Next up, Texas. Order up. Queso, breakfast tacos, barbecue brisket, chicken fried steak, pecan pie, kaloshes. Don't know what that is. Um... And queso, that just seems so plain. Gosh, I'm going to say the pecan pie. <laughs> You've arrived in California. Pick something to eat. Uh, they have fish tacos. Poke, which looks like it has avocado in it. No, thank you. Mission burrito, burger and fries, animal style. Faux, nah. Faux, no. <laughs> I'm going to say no. Oh. <laughs> Fancy toast, which looks really good. I'm going to say burger and fries animal style. That's me. Last stop, the Pacific Northwest. What's your final meal? Dungeon, Dun, Dungness crab, grilled cheese, oyster, smoked salmon, chicken teriyaki, Bob me. I don't know what these things are, so I'm going to say the grilled cheese. Ah, I got Manhattan. You belong in Manhattan. The best thing about living in the city that never sleeps is that you can find anything from dim sum to a dollar slice at 3 a.m. And thanks to New York City's food-centric enclaves across the five boroughs, you'll never be far from whatever cuisine you're craving. Yay, Manhattan! These trees, they're, they're not dogwood trees. What are they, Kevin? I don't know, they stink. But they stink. They smell so... They don't smell bad today, but, but they did. No, they did when they first come out. They smell horrible. So it is a beautiful day. Kevin and I are on a walk. It's like 75 degrees or something like that. But tomorrow, the high is like 45. So we are... It's storming, huh? Yeah, so we are enjoying it while we can. We just got back from our walk, and I told Kevin I wanted him to take this quiz that I took earlier. He has not um, seen any of it. So, New York City, what's the one food you need to try? There's six choices in each one of these. Um, pastrami. Pastrami? No. Okay. New England. I guess the cider donuts. No, that sounds. I don't know what a Johnny Cake is, but the cider donuts. This one. Good. Yeah. Okay. Um, a meal. Cream um, cat. Tomato pie. It looks like a big pizza. It like, does. Just tomato sauce. It does. I don't know what a half smoke is. Um, I don't know. It doesn't say what they are. So no, it's it doesn't. Hard to, no, I know. Uh, I'm gonna go with a cheese steak, I guess. Cheese steak. Okay. Although half smoke looks good, but but you don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, not that Cincinnati chili, because I hate Cincinnati chili. Um, and we had one of those at an airport yeah, we were at um, on our dog. way to Las Vegas. Yeah, we like had Chicago one of those. Or something. Yeah. Um, but burnt hen sandwich. This one. Yo, yeah, it's like okay. a barbecue. So far, you have not chosen the one thing that I've not chosen. really not one. New Orleans. Um, Beignets are awfully good. Um, but that sandwich look. Do the beignet. We'll eat a donut. Okay. We finally, you picked something that I picked. <laughs> no, the rest of that stuff. But looks, that looks sandwich looks good. It does, except it's got a bunch of weird stuff looking on it. Head to the south. Um, probably the fried green tomatoes. Uh, I picked that too. Yeah, those look pretty good. They those look like, like they have cheese on them, yeah. don't they? Yeah, they do. 
Texas, we're going to do uh, ooh, chicken fried steak or pecan pie. I don't know which one. Mm. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? I'm going to go chicken fried steak. Okay. I'd rather have that than dessert. Okay. California. Mm. He's thinking. <laughs> oh, none of this really looks good to me. None um, of it does? No, not really. Are you kidding? What, you like the fancy toast? No, I'm not going to tell you what I like. I'll tell you after you choose. I don't know what burgers and fries animal style is. I looked at the pictures. I went by the pictures. Probably the fancy toast then. Fancy toast? Okay, I picked burger and fries. Because that, well, looks, that looks awesome. looks like burger and fries, but I don't know. It looks, it looks like it's really got weird good. Stuff in it. I don't know. Um, and then the last, the last one. Um, grilled cheese. Out of all those, that's what cheese. I picked it. But you got Austin. What did you get? New York, Manhattan, New York. Oh, really? Uh, it says you got Austin, Texas. If you thought Austin was all about beer and barbecue, think again. While there's tons of that, of course, Austin is also home to a sophisticated food scene. There's elevated southern cooking, farm-to-table restaurants, and awesome ethnic food from Japanese, Mexican, and Argentinian bites. Mm. Ashley's getting her stuff ready. Uh, to pack for Oklahoma and she's already packed her suitcase like her clothes she picked out her outfits that she needs and her shoes she has a book to take with her uh, but you bought this pouch where did you buy this Target and honestly I don't remember how much it was um, but it's for women on the go and it was in the travel section um, and I just thought you all might be interested to see what was in it you might have to cut it there too I don't know Oh, it's full. All right, so it comes with a, oh my gosh, a toothbrush, toothpaste, a disposable razor, which yes, you can take on a plane and carry on, I looked. Um, I oh, coupons. Yeah. Um, some flossers. I think that's another coupon. Um, this is shampoo. This is hairspray. I won't use that. I'll give that to mom. Conditioner. I actually really like this shampoo. It comes with a toothpaste cover and deodorant. And I wanted to smell this deodorant because it's it, on the front. It had like a strange, it says cool essentials, but this is like pink looking. It just smells like powder or something like clean yeah smell that i don't know what that smells like not like baby powder it just smells like soap yeah i like it okay. which is probably better than what you were thinking yeah i thought it was gonna be like cucumbers in it and i was not excited so, so yeah are you actually gonna use all this or are you gonna leave some of it here um i mean i'll probably take it yeah yeah i would too we are in uh, downtown Lexington. We are taking, they're building a new, I guess probably condos right there. They have some really nice ones right here. And I'm sure they're really expensive too. Uh, but we are actually down here to pick up one of Ashley's classmates because we're going to uh, take her and Ashley to the airport. And Ashley's behind me back there. I asked her, I said, would you like to talk about uh, the conference and why you're going and all that? And she said, no, that her, her um, she's, she's, nervous. she's nervous. Yeah, she's nervous. And she, uh, she even buys uh, Dramamine because she's gotten sick before. She went to London years ago and she got sick on the flight. <laughs> and so ever since that, she's always been like scared that's going to happen again. But I told her, I said, well, <laughs> I said, when was the last time, <laughs> Ash, I said, when was the last time you flew? And she's like, five years ago when we went to Disney. And I said, well, you get, didn't get sick then. And it's because it's such a short flight. I really believe that the only reason she got sick was because London is, it, it's a nine hour flight. And so, on the flight, on right before our flight there, I was feeling fine. So I ate chocolate gelato. <laughs> Horrible idea. <laughs> So, yeah, so she, I've eaten bread today, literally. Right, yeah, bread. yeah, she made rolls for lunch. <laughs> some Sister Schubert dinner yeast rolls. Hey, somebody, some people will appreciate that. So, what is, quickly, Ashley, what is this conference about? Um, Why do you have to go? 
so this is the National Research Council something something. I'm basically going to present my research that I've been working on all year long to a couple hundred people. Maybe at that. I don't know how many people will be there. And I asked her if she had anything written down, typed up, and she pointed to her head and said, it's all up here. Well, I've been so, working on it for a year, so I would hope it would all be up there. I know, but... We've practiced. It, it's. I would have, like, the bull, bullet point. I would be afraid that I would forget, like, a whole bullet point or something, you know? No. I would be terrified that I have, to, I have to write down the grocery list, okay? I mean, if I need five things, I have to write it down. She's talking about... How long will you talk, forever. Ashley? Um, It'll be... The presentation is 15 minutes long and then five questions following for answers. And the other people... Five minutes following for um, questions and answers, I'm sorry. The other people that are going with you, do you, do they also talk? <coughs> Bless you. Do, do they also talk? Um, yes, but, so we were all going to go to our, each other's presentations, of course. Right. Um, but, unfortunately, they scheduled two of our groups at the same time. So, people are going to have to split their time between us. Right. Um, so... Is your grade based on this, or is this extra? I mean, no. No. The class is a very small part of this. This is my job. Like, I'm a research fellow at the university. So, this is part of the job, not the class. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's it for now, then. So, Ashley's going. She, today is a Wednesday. And so, uh, I will be talking to some of you all tonight live uh, with Kevin. That'll be fun. Uh, but, she will not be back until late Saturday night. So, this, this will be the last time Ashley's in the blog. And, I'm sure somebody will ask tonight if she's going to make an appearance on the live stream. And, she won't be. And, it's because uh, this is, she was in Oklahoma. She's flying the friendly skies um, when, we're, when we're in the live stream. So, um, yes, so I will talk to you all uh, later. So Ashley just went in the door, and I missed her. But there's the the sign. Okay, we can go now. This is what it Sorry, looks like. It's a, what is that strong smell? Gas. Gas. Okay. I but we just dropped her off, and I didn't film any with her friend in the car because her friend doesn't know. Her friend does not know YouTube, but. Uh, so the last time we were here was when Ashley was picking us up from uh, the plane. We had gotten off the plane to uh, from London. Um, so, well, we, it wasn't directly from London. It was from somewhere. And I think I showed you those statues over there. I know I did. Yeah, that smell is strong. Oh, cold. Oh, you're cold. Um, so, uh, I wish we were going somewhere. Air flight drive. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Ashley's very nervous. I get excited, though, just because I like to go places. I love to travel. I have the travel bug. and uh, But it's a beautiful day. It's cold. I told you all yesterday. I said it's going to get cold. And it is cold. Um, but it's uh, the trees, you can see they're in bloom. And, and it, things are turning green. The grass is turning green. What? Tex-Mex? Spicy peanuts, almonds, salsa, corn sticks, sesame sticks, chili bits, and pepitas? You ought to get that. That sounds good. This is at Target. And this is the nut selection at Target. They have all kinds of the blue diamond in bags. I think that's nice. And then they have it in the little pots, which I like. And then here's, hey, Kevin, look. These are big uh, bags. Market Pantry, peanut, pretzel, sesame stick trail mix. There's three of them right there. And they have a classic and a fruit. Yeah, sound like the fruit. I like this classic. And then they have the emerald, emerald brand. And then Saul, is that how we pronounce that? So they have quite a big uh, selection here. Deluxe whole cashews. We like these packages of emerald because they're 100 calorie packs and those are nice. This one says new. Walnuts and almonds with dried cherries. I don't know how new it is, but it says new. They have all kinds of the Archer Farms. 
Look at these huge uh, roasted pistachio. Petey said he was looking for beer nuts. He's, he wanted to know if we had beer nuts here. And I don't know. Could be just some regular peanuts. Yeah, I don't know that we have anything called. That's called Zen Party. That one right there, Zen Party Trail Mix. Are you going to get anything else? No, I, got, I got those too. Okay. I don't see the Zen Party anywhere else though. I wonder what that is. Zen Party? Um, no, it's got like those beans in it. Rice crackers, sesame sticks, no, green good. peas, almonds, cashews, and wasabi peas. I like this one called Handful of Everything. I like the black and white looks good. Oh yeah, that does. Milk, chocolate, yogurt flavored, coated peanuts, and raisins. Looks really good. I've got two. I've, I've, okay. I've I don't like the fruit ones that much. I'm not sure they have the spicy one. You know? Yeah. And the beef jerky. And there's the chip a hole, which we don't need anything down there. Uh, bars. I do want to look for something in the bars. So they never had this before, but now they do. They have an entire aisle of liquor. Look, I didn't even know all these existed. They have Tennessee Fire, Tennessee Honey, Rye Whiskey, Jim Beam. Look, they have Apple Fire, Devil's Cut. All kinds of bourbon. Yeah, see, we never had this this aisle before, and now there is just tons and tons of alcohol. And they come in really fancy bottles. Some of these are really cool looking. Is that Ellen on the Cheerios box? I swear it is, that is Ellen. That is Ellen on the back of Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> Kevin and I have two packages to open from Carly in the United Kingdom. Now, was this in this, is that going to be in this vlog with Sarah's? Yes, in Sarah's because we just got those on Monday. We just got some packages from Sarah in the United Kingdom in England on Monday. So she sends us, I know she sent us two things that Carly was gonna send me. So I'm so sorry, I can't help it. Because Carly, Carly had asked me what would I like to try and I had told her the Mr. Kipling Unicorn and the Butterfinger with Hazelnut. And so I had no idea Sarah was gonna send it. Yay! But you know what, it's okay because uh, we have actually tried these now, I can tell you that, uh, and I love these. These are so good. So they will all get eaten, and I think this is a later date than what was on Sarah's, so I can eat Sarah's first and then eat these. So that is awesome. There's nothing in our room. That is hilarious. That's cute. Yeah. Look at this container. <laughs> That's cute. That is so cute. I love this. Just a little, you, you it, normally with kids, you would put it in their lunchbox and you'd put Cheerios or something mm -hmm. in it. And that's probably exactly what I'll do is put some sort of like leftovers or something like that in that. That is a adorable. Snack, little snack. Little snack. Ashley might use it for snack crackers or something. That's know. very, Ashley's going to love that. Very, very cute. We have the Nestle Toffee Crisp. I think we've had this uh, one, so these. We've had, we had the coffee crisp. We've had toffee crisp, but I don't know if it was the. These are the biscuits. Ah. So see, that's the difference. We've had the toffee crisp candy bar, but since these are biscuits, Maybe they'll different. be different. Yeah, just like uh, the. Um, what was it that was different? We just tried uh, the Yorkie. That was different because it was a biscuit form. <laughs> Milky Way Magic Stars. Those sound really good. Those are just chocolate. Milky Way Magic Stars aerated milk chocolate pieces. Yeah. That's what they are. 
crunchy. Um, I, th yeah, thank you very, very much. You get four in here. I'll have to split these between me and Andrew. Yeah, you me, like it too. Me too and Andrew too. Andrew absolutely loves the, the crunchy bars. A Galaxy Honeycomb Crisp. Mm -hmm. That sounds amazing. Smooth and creamy galaxy chocolate with crisp honeycomb pieces. That sounds so good. I will love that. I'm sure I will. Okay. She got you two hazelnuts. Oh, yay! So now I have three. They have more than That's them. okay, because I'm sure I'll like them. <gasps> I loved the coconut. I love the coconut. The peanut butter. The peanut butter. We liked this peanut butter more than our um, um, Butterfinger here because it tastes more like, it tastes like real peanut. Yeah. Peanut butter. Um, and the coconut, I love it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. This is awesome. Uh, picnic. We've had a picnic, but it's been a long time ago, but we've mm -hmm. had these two. They were very, very good uh, candy bars. Either one here and bad. they have raisins. I mean, they have all kinds mm -hmm. of Those stuff in them. Uh, crispy cereal, caramel, milk chocolate, dried grapes. Yeah. yeah, they're full of stuff. That's some of your favorites. <laughs> um, and when did I eat one of these? Last night. Last night. night. Yes, I ate one last night. Um, these are nice too. These are only 62 calories. The ones that Sarah sent me were like 150 something. So these are smaller, but I love them. I was just telling Kevin how much I love them. <gasps> Loopy lemon cake bars, Jaffa cakes, a limited edition. I cannot wait to try these. I saw a picture of these and did not think I would get to try these. And I love the McVitie's brand. It's such a good brand. And these are new Pop Works and Company. Glaze of Glory. Glaze of Glory, Coffee Apple, and Strawberry Cheesecake. Oh my goodness, that sounds so good. All of this stuff was just in one bag. She sent us two bags, two bags. I can't believe you sent all of this, Carly. I, I love it. Cadbury mini eggs nest cakes. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what we're having tomorrow. <laughs> Because I'm going to have these soon because they're uh, an Easter treat. Mini eggs, chocolate cakes, the perfect Easter treat. Yeah, I cannot wait to try those. Oh, Mr. Kipling Battenberg. This is a full, I've never seen one of these. We've had the little cakes, the little Battenberg cakes, which I can eat in no time at all. I didn't know they made one big one. I'd say they make, yeah, they make full, they make full size. Like well, I know cakes. they make full size, uh, like the bakewell tart and stuff, but I didn't know they made the yeah. full size batten bar. Yeah. It got I mushed would, a little bit on the side of this. It did, it got mushed but a little bit. But it's still good. Yeah, I don't care. I will enjoy eating that very much. Cadbury Crunchy Biscuits. And we have had, we have actually had um, the cookies over here. These, um, but not, they're, they weren't called biscuits, but they look exactly like these. We'll have to try them and see if they're any different. They look just like these cookies, though, and I love them. I think they're wonderful. <laughs> the chips. Oh, they're chips. Jelly babies. Ah. <laughs> so it's probably the same thing as the regular ones. They are. Like they are. They're just they're like chicks. chicks. I will have to show these whenever I open these. I'll have to show them during a vlog because I'm sure the flavors are exactly the same. Yeah, they have the same flavors as the original, but we'll have to see what the chicks look like. Uh, I, I love these. You were bad for sending me these because I will eat the entire bag. After eight bites, the after like eights now. are so good. And Walker Sensations Oven Roasted Peanuts Californian Honey and Salt. Those sound so good. There's two more. Mr. Kipling Thanks. Zingy Lemon Fancies. Yay! I can't believe this, Mr. Kipling. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know they made these. Lemon Whirls and Chocolate. And cho 
I never even saw a picture of these. I'm telling you, I never, I did not know they had these. The only whorls that we've had are the Viennese whorls, and I absolutely love them. They're good. Um, yes, if I had to name my top three Mr. Kipling, I would say the Bakewell Tart, the Battenberg, and the Viennese whorls. So we will see how these compare. I, I cannot believe you sent me all these. I cannot wait to try them. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Kevin and I just did a review, and it will be out by the time you see this. Kevin has a parlor trick. This is one of his many hidden talents. We got a cherry. That's a long stem, too. We got a cherry in this strawberry milkshake from Sonic, and hopefully you'll have watched the review. We're doing a comparison between the milkshake and the pudding. And Kevin can take a cherry. You've already done it. Oh, my gosh. By the time I couldn't even finish telling what he was going to do, and he's done it. He took that cherry stem and tied it into a knot. And I don't know how he does it. He's always been able to do it. What age did you discover you could do that? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's crazy. Isn't that a neat talent? That is such a neat... I mean, I could never do that. I can barely... I mean, I can roll my tongue, but that's it. There's no way. What are you doing now? There's no way that I could ever tie a knot in the cherry stem. What are you doing? He, now he's making a heart out of it or knot. something. Oh, did you sit? Oh my gosh, he did a double <laughs> knot. He that was a really long stem. Though. He literally tied a double knot in that cherry That was a long stem. If it was a regular stem, you couldn't do that. So, that's something new that you learned about Kevin today. Yeah, see, see, who, see if you can do it. Yeah, if you can do that, seriously, you cannot lie. If you can do that, you're gonna have to leave me a comment below. I am going to end the vlog here because I'm working on it right now and it's over well over an hour. So um, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to add some pictures at the end of Easter and Ashley has sent me some pictures uh, from her trip in Oklahoma. Uh, one of them shows her hotel room and one of them is the view out the window of the hotel room which is a horrible view. Um, and then uh, you see the bathroom. Uh, she took a picture of herself. So and, uh, she took a picture of some breakfast that she had. So I thought you all would enjoy seeing that. Um, she sent me some other ones, but they have like people in them, other people she's with. So I'm not going to include those because I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Um, Kevin and I were watching a show last night, and I have to tell you this because it's a new term. I've never heard it before. What is that show we've been watching at night about the? People nothing to declare UK. Nothing to declare UK. I love it. I think we watched like four episodes last night. I just think it's just a fantastic show. But we heard a new term, uh, Chinese whispers. This guy said something. I don't remember the what the sentence was he used it in. But he said something about Chinese, Chinese whispers. Chinese whispers. And... Kevin said, I wonder if that's like telephone. And we looked it up and that's exactly what it is. It's the it's another term for the game over in the United States. We call it telephone. You're playing telephone. And over there, apparently they say Chinese whispers. So I just think it's funny that that's a term like lollipop lady. You know, I had never heard that until a while back. So it's you all have these terms that you're used to and that you hear all the time. And we don't have them here, so I think that's cool. Uh, but um, hopefully you all have had a good week. I hope everyone had a good Easter. And I know Mona is just celebrating her Easter. She just had her Easter um, this Sunday. So, um, Mona, I hope you had a wonderful Easter. You and your family and you, you and your mom have just did a terrific job staying away from the sweets and the dairy. I don't know. She didn't eat anything for the last, like, 50 days. She hasn't eaten. So, <laughs> I hope you pigged out on Easter. I really do hope you treated yourself. I hope everyone enjoyed the box openings and everything that I showed you this week. And I will see you next week.